Hi, welcome back to Book Chats at Lonsdale Public Library. Uh, tonight I'm going to talk about early chapter books. So it's sort of, uh, you're at that age where you've gotten through all the easy readers, they're a little too easy for you, but you're not ready to tackle, you know, a big Harry Potter. So what do you read next? Uh, as you can see, I got a whole stack of things that, um, that might be just perfect for that. Um, if you follow those reading level charts, um, these books are all K to M in the Fountas and Pinnell system, which I'm not really familiar with, and I'm saying it wrong, but if that's something you follow. Um, or Lexile, they're about 450 to 650. So um, according to the charts, that puts them right around third grade, but you know, if you're a second grader who loves reading, or a fourth grader who loves math and hates reading, or you know, or you're 45 years old and you just want to read Dinosaurs Before Dark, I don't blame you. Uh, <laughs> so, read whatever books you want to read. But, the, what's nice about these is that they are chapter books, they're, they're more in-depth, they, you know, tell sort of usually a deeper story than those, those easy readers, but they're almost all illustrated, you know, they're not too long, so they're a good next step. Um, and I'm going to start with a series that you've probably heard of, the Magic Tree House series by Mary Pope Osborne. Um, it's the adventures of Jack and Annie. They're a brother and sister. Um, when the series starts, Jack is eight and a half and Annie is seven. And uh, as you can see, in the, oh, well, maybe you can't see it, but in this first um, adventure, they discover the Magic Tree House and it allows them to travel in time. And so their first adventure, they end up in the Cretaceous period and get to meet real-life dinosaurs. How cool is that? Um, and this series, um, it's very robust. There's still, she's still writing them. Um, there's currently 34 books in the regular series. There's another 27 Merlin missions, which are a little longer, a little harder. And there's also a series of nonfiction books on the same topic. So if you read this and get excited about dinosaurs, you can read the nonfiction book about dinosaurs to go with it. So that's a great series, and we have tons and tons of them in the library. Um, and then another series that might be fun if you're into sports, and this might be a good one to recommend to kids who love sports and are not sure about reading, maybe uh, combine the two to pique their interest. Um, the Jake Maddox Sports Stars series, and as you can see, he writes books about boys playing sports and girls playing sports, and just about every sport you want to imagine, they, he has a, a title on. Um, they also have illustrations. We've got about 10 of them in the library, but there's 80. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize until I looked it up for this, that there's 80 titles in the series. So, you know, if you're into gymnastics, or cheerleading, or football, or, I don't know, maybe there's probably one on curling. Um, you can find a fun book to read there. Um, and then, I'm going to recommend King and Kayla uh, by Dory Hillstad Butler. And these are fun um, in a couple of ways. They also have cute illustrations. Um, and they're a mystery series, so it may be the first time that the kid really, uh, that you encounter this idea of something mysterious happened, how do I investigate, what do I know, what do I need to know? And they're a hoot because it just so happens, King is the narrator, and he's a dog. So he helps his human, Kayla, uh, solve mysteries. In this one, for example, they solve the mystery of what happened to King's ball. And I'm going to talk about Katie Kazoo Switcheroo. Um, this is kind of an older series. They, um, I, I don't think there have been any new ones since 2011, but there, it's a real fun idea. So Katie is a third grader, and uh, in this, her first adventure, she's tired of being bullied, she's sick of being her, so she wishes to be anybody else. But she should have been more specific because uh, a magic wind blows and she finds herself as the class hamster. So will she ever get back to being a human again? Um, obviously yes, because she has lots and lots more adventures. 
swapping places with everybody from the lunch lady to the head cheerleader. And one more I'm going to talk about in depth is Captain Awesome by Stan Kirby. Um, if any of your parents are uh, comic book nerds, you may have heard the name Stan Kirby. Uh, but this series is about Eugene McGillicuddy. He's a second grader who loves superheroes. So much so that he creates his own superhero alter ego, Captain Awesome. And with the help of his best friend, Charlie Thomas Jones, a.k.a. Nacho Cheese Man. And of course, Turbo the Hamster. They defeat the bad guys in their hometown. In this book, for example they face up to all the scary stuff that you might encounter if you're a second grader on Halloween. Um, so, lots of fun there. Um, and then I'm just going to mention a couple more, because I'm having fun. Um, another oldie but goodie is Nate the Great by Marjorie Weinman Charmant. Um, and these are, I think the original was way back in the 70s, so my uh, era. But they're a lot of fun. He solves mysteries. Um, the Princess in Black. This is a, a relatively recent series, so they're still making these. Uh, it's a princess who's also a superhero. Need I say more? Flat Stanley, who uh, he gets flattened, but he doesn't let that stop him from having fabulous, fabulous adventures. Uh, in this case, he goes to space. And finally, Ivy and Bean. They are good friends who have adventures together. So come on into the library and we would love to talk about books and help you find uh, early chapter books or whatever else you want to enjoy. Have a good night.